Welcome to another tech video. Today we're going to be tearing down this uh, GPU. So this is uh, an ATI Radeon HD 6770. It's a 1GB uh, GPU that's been pulled out of an old Dell XPS system. Um, the XPS system's been sat in uh, a house while they've been doing loads of renovation work. So it's absolutely filthy. So we're going to strip it down completely today, give it a good clean, change the thermal pads, change the thermal paste, and then get it back together. Right. So let's see if we can get this card apart and give it a good clean out. Um, certainly a good clean. It's pretty filthy. So this is the first time we've taken one of these apart. I don't even know what type of card it is. I know it's an ATI Radian, but uh, I don't know what the model number is. So we'll find all that out later. But let's see if we can get this back plate off. It's obviously SLI capable because we've got our connector up here. So it might be a fairly ancient but decent graphics card. So it looks like nine screws on the back. Okay, it's two more screws there, there, and my single screw there. So let's get those out. Let's see if that helps. All right, let's see if we can get this mounting bracket off. Like that. That's better. That's what needed to come off. Okay, let's get that fan unplugged if we can there we go right Okay, thermal pads still on there, but a bit broken down obviously. That clean. Take these thermal pads off and we'll, we'll put some new ones on there. Okay, that's nice and clean. One screw in here that I'm going to take off. Two screws actually on the back plate. That one there. And there's another one here. That should allow us to get the plate off. Should. There we go. Come off. And some more thermal pads on the back. That we're going to completely remove. like that and then we're going to give this a clean so let's see if we can get this heat sink off without breaking it Thank you. 
Okay, so we've got the card all disassembled, all nice and cleaned up. We've got the thermal pads removed, and you can see where the thermal pads all go on the four blocks on the four chips here one, two, three, four, and on the back side, one, two, three, four. So it is nice and clean now, I have to admit, pretty good. Right, so um, we bought some thermal pad. Uh, we just need to cut it to size, so you need to get some scissors. Okay, so this is our first time using this stuff, but uh, should be okay. All we've got to do is make sure that they're big enough. So, I'm going to go there. All right, let's try that. So, we've got some uh, peel off. Put that over there. Okay, so that's our thermal pads on that side. And then we're going to do the same on this side. Doesn't matter too much about the size of them. If they're a little bit big, not a problem. Probably better to be bigger than smaller. Go and then last one. Right, so the next bit is let's just get this raised up slightly on there. I'm going to put some thermal paste on here empty I'm gonna get a heat sink mounted in there and then we're gonna get our mounting bracket goes on to there and just being careful when you tighten it down you need to tighten it down evenly and on the screwdriver so the next thing we want to do is to mount this side rail and this goes on here like that sits on top of there okay so first of all we're going to get the two end screws which sit on here on the front we're going to get those mounted or screwed in now let's have a look at this. And then we want to get the rest of the screws attached. So we're going to get the back this back plate on first. I'm fairly sure that's how it goes. Okay. Well, actually, how does this go on first? Let's have a look. All right. Needed to put that on first. So, clips in there. Okay, right, so we've done this wrong. But that's fine. We can go ahead and continue with the bracket. Get the bracket continue to be put on. We'll have to take the heat sink off again in a sec. All right, that's everything on the base plate screwed in now. Right, so now we've got to take this back out which is our heat sink clamp because stupidly I uh, did it wrong okay there we go so that is now off I'm going to leave the thermal paste in place 
And now we want to. Okay, so that goes around that way. That goes in there like that. And then got these tiny little screws. Hold the heat sink into the fan shroud. Okay, so now that whole assembly can go on. So we need to connect the fan in there. So that's the fan connected into, into here and the fan controller port. And then that sits in there over the top like that. Now we can put our uh, clamp back on. First time you've ever done something like this. Take down a strip down a GPU, give it a clean and put it back together. You can probably tell. Okay, and then the last screw goes in the front here. All right, and that is it, I think. Hmm, got one screw left over. Where the hell did that go? <laughs> uh, ah, yes, okay. That was, I remember. I think that is it. There you have it. That's one GPU stripped down and put back together. It says it's G, GDDR5, PCI Express by 16 video card, um, one gig of RAM, but I'm not sure if it really is GDDR5. It says it is, and, but it's from a, it's a good few years old. Anyway, it's got dual DVI connectors, one HDMI port and one display port. So we're just gonna give these a bit of a clean out so that uh, this whole end is nice and clean. And then um, we can get this into a system somewhere. So this was our first time attempting a teardown of a GPU. Um, it didn't go too bad, although if you know where that one screw is that uh, we ended up left over with, then <laughs> leave us a, a comment below and um, hopefully we'll be able to find that. But otherwise, I mean, uh, it's, it's fine the way it is, but uh, yeah, I'm sure we've left a screw out from somewhere. Anyway, if you found that video useful, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Just wanna say thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.